What's good YouTube? It is your boy Just Created back on the Cryptic Family channel and I have some sad news to tell y'all. As y'all know, the last video that we posted uh, was talking about how me and Tracy both got engaged and how we got, you know, I gave her a ring, all that. And she did end up getting me a band as well because she thought my hand looked um, kind of like, you know, just plain without having something on it. But yeah, um, I have some sad news to tell y'all and this is really embarrassing on my part. Um, I think I may have took things a little too far which is why I'm kind of doing this video right now. And I know some of your guys' perspectives and views on me might change um, from what I'm about to say, but basically the proposal um, and getting engaged, uh, that was actually a prank on Tracy, which is really embarrassing to say. Um, but, you know, um, I think I got some maturing to do. I. I, at some point I was planning on actually getting engaged but just I just wanted to film a video and just you know prank her and make it seem like we were getting engaged and stuff like that you know after I filmed the video she was just so excited and so happy and everything like that that it like it was really hard to say anything about it being a prank so that's what this video is I'm sorry y'all I'm sorry I, I took this one way too far. I just didn't have it in me to tell her that it was a prank after seeing how excited she got. So yeah, um, L cryptic, you know, L, L, L prank too far. I know it's uh, definitely went too far, but I'm just playing with y'all, man. Nah, the engagement is real, you know what I'm saying? I just want to mess with y'all for a second. This is real, engagement is real. For this video, I had an idea, you know what I'm saying? A little follow-up banger to the engagement is to just act like it's a prank, tell her that it was a prank and that the ring is not hers. So basically in this video, I am going to be acting like the ring that I bought was like a rental ring. I don't even know if that's a thing, but we're going to try and get her reaction and see how she would respond if I did an actual proposal, which I did, but it turned out to be fake. So with that said, this video will probably get a little bit emotional. If you guys are new to the channel, man, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and uh, let's go tell her that the proposal was a prank. Let's go. Why are you huffing and puffing? Just got a lot on my mind right now. Like what? Just a lot on my mind, that's it. Just thinking about a lot. I just, I did something wrong and like, I don't want, uh, I don't want you to like look at me different. What'd you do? I did, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. Like what? Um, so you know how we, you know, uh, went out to Vegas and stuff? Yeah. And we had a good trip and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And you remember how I mean, obviously you remember, you know, we, I proposed and we're engaged and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and you know how you was like thinking it was like a prank and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah, it's not, you know, I wouldn't do that. It was a serious moment or anything like that. Um, I think I'm, I didn't, I don't think, I, I took it too far. Um, I was filming a video for my channel. It was a prank on you. And I just couldn't look you in the eyes and tell you it was a prank. But I like I gotta tell you it because I can't like keep going every day and like not saying something. So like what are like what are you saying or not? I'm saying the proposal was a prank. Like it was like a not, it wasn't a real proposal. So, why did you get me a ring? That was part of the prank. It was like a really thought out prank, like a mastermind. And you think that's cool? I, I thought it was gonna be a good video and whatnot, but I don't, one, I don't even wanna post it because I feel like it's gonna come off crazy. Two, I couldn't even look at you after doing it because it was like, because the way you got so excited and stuff, it just like, I couldn't say nothing to you. No, no I don't know.
Before we get into today's video, we want to share with you our favorite fragrance brand called Dossier. Dossier is a perfume and cologne scent company that allows you to get high quality scents at a discounted price. Dossier eliminates retail markups, marketing fees, licensing fees, so they're able to provide us with a price that is 70 to 90% less. They're UV colorant and paraben free and they are vegan. I did get two new ones that I've never tried before, so we're going to see what those smell like. The two that I recently just got that I have never smelled before. This one is Spicy Mimosa, and it's inspired by Joe Malone's Mimosa. This actually smells so good. Yeah, that smells so good. The next one we have is the Woody Frasia, I think it's called. This one is inspired by Georgie Armani. This one has, smells like vanilla and jasmine. Smells so good. And then I also got my top favorite. It now has like a bigger size. I always run out of this one. It is the Fruity Almond. This one, it literally smells so good. It's inspired by Good Girl. It's like almondy and vanilla. I love it. It's my favorite. So one of the two that I got is called Woody Coriander. So this scent is actually inspired by Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Okay, so this one's definitely got like a sweeter fruit smell, but it's kind of still got that that good cologne hint to it. This one's pretty good. And then the other one that I got is a fresh margarita in lime. Now this is actually not a dupe of another cologne. This is Dossier's original scent. So this isn't made for something else to smell like something else. This is their own original scent. It says fresh margarita in lime, and you know what I'm saying? I like margaritas, so we gonna see. Ooh. Okay, nah, this one, this one, this one's fire. I ain't gonna lie. This does actually smell like a margarita. With that being said, I would highly recommend checking out their scents as they are a very good bang for your buck product. You get high end luxury scents for a discounted price and you can't go wrong with that. So with that being said, there will be a link down in the description below if you guys want to get some dossier. And yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the video. Let's go. So you prank, so it was, it was fake, it was a prank? Yeah, I filmed a whole, I filmed a whole vlog beforehand on my that's why I even booked the flight to Vegas because I wanted why, to be believable. Why the fuck would you prank with that shit? Why you would you prank with that? What do you mean? Like, are I, you dumb? It was dumb? supposed to be like a. Are you dumb? I literally said. Okay. But I'm I'm super sorry. I'm 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 so sorry. I know that was way too far. It's just you've been pranking crazy, doing crazy pranks, and I was like, this would be the best way to get her. Maybe she'll stop pranking me from now on. Um, but I need... I was about to say that. Yeah, I need the ring back. Because I got to give it back to the pawn shop. Matter of fact, I got to call them too. Let me call them really quick. Why you get your ring back so quick? Literally, just don't talk to me and take me back home. Why'd you give your ring back so quick? Hold on. Voicemail. Uh, maybe, maybe they closed today. Why are you parked right here? Can we just? I gotta, I gotta call them because I, I don't want to get charged with the extra fee. It's a, it's a rental ring from the pawn shop. Hello, this is Ringtone Service. Can I help you? Uh, I'm just calling back. I, I came and got a ring from you guys on the, uh, the twelfth of this month, and I just. Um, yeah, do, is my number, you guys have my number saved in? Yes, we do. Okay, yeah, I was just calling to see when the deadline is to bring it back. Um, just trying to figure that out so I don't get charged with an extra fee. So, it was one week, so you would have to bring it back by today, by the end of the day today. Otherwise, it would be a $150 late fee. $150 late fee. Okay, okay um... And then, do I need to bring the box back, too? Yes, you need to bring back everything that we gave you. Got you. Okay, all right, well, um, I'll be I'll be back up there later today. Um, what time do you guys close? At 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? You guys are about an hour. Is, there any, is it possible to bring it in after hours? Oh, no. Nobody's there after hours. If you have to wait till tomorrow, you will be trying to go and see there's nothing there's no other way around it no okay uh all right that's all i needed i'll be uh, I'll, I'll try and get up there before you guys close you said six right it's 
did. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Have right. a good rest of your day. All right. You too. I don't got 150 right now for that fee, so I gotta go right like right now. Go ahead. Let's go. You can take me back home and you can go. I already brought the box. We're good. We're good to go. Where's the box at? I don't know what I did with the box. You got the box? Did I give you the box? No. Did I bring Why the box? Why would you give me the box? Well, I went to go get the box because I knew I was gonna put it back in a. I don't think I got the box. Alright. Well, can you take let's, me back home? No, let's go to the thing. I you need gotta, you to take me back home. Why? Now. Why? Because I said so. Why would I want to be in the car with you? I'm sorry. I don't it, care about your sorry. I don't care about that. Well, I got to take this back to the pawn shop. Okay! How many times are you going to say it? Take me back home. Why are you so mad? I'm not mad about sh Take me back home. You sound like you're agitated. Okay, what I'm aggravated at is that you're playing games with my mind and I'm like, I don't with that. I'm not playing games with you're your not mind. Playing, you're not playing games, but yet you knew that I wanted to be your wife one day and then you take it, you take it as far as taking me on a trip and proposing to me and letting it sit for days and then automatically, like three days, four days later, you're like, oh, by the way, it was a prank and I'm taking it to the pawn shop today. Well, I can't get charged to feed it. It's, it still costs a good amount. Like I said, take me back home. Like I said. And I'm done with you. I don't want to be with you anymore. And I'm dead ass. You're not playing games in my mind like that. Like, you dead ass, like... What? So there's nothing I can do to make up? I didn't even post the video. I don't care. I don't want anything. I didn't post the video. I don't want anything. I, we, okay, I'll take you. I'll take you to McDonald's and then drop on the knee. McDonald's. It's right down the street. I don't want. I don't want to be proposed to, and I don't want to be an issue. I want to go back home. Take me home. Why are you stopping the car? Take me home. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too for thinking that you were man enough to propose and all that my bad. What does that mean? My bad. What, is, what does that mean? That you're just a little ass boy that just is sitting there playing games for no reason. So you don't want to... No, don't, I don't. You don't want to be my wife no more? No, I don't. Why? Cause, just because I haven't proposed yet? I was... Take me back home. Uh, we're headed back home. Okay, we're almost home. Cool. Jeez, why are you so like mad? It's not even. It's a prank. Like you prank me all the time, and then as soon as I go to prank you, you you're feeling something. I don't want to be with you. All right, no let more. me do. Let me do some crazy stuff like that to you and see how you feel about it. What could you possibly prank me on? Like you prank me all the time. Not with stuff that's serious, Isaiah. You did ask God on your knee and proposed to me. And let it sit. You didn't say it would have been okay. It would have been different if you would have just said it and then been like, oh, it's a prank. Then I'd be like, oh, it's mother freaker. And it would be fine after. But you let me sit on that for days. You let me like get excited about it. My mom, I was literally sitting there like looking at like thing, places that I'd want to like have like a venue at and stuff. Like I look, like I literally was like looking at that stuff. I mean, we still had a venue. No, I don't want none of that now but do you understand what i'm saying though do you understand uh, yes. how childish um, that yeah, was I'm, I'm sorry i took it too far i took the prank okay, too far that's cool so i hope and i hope to god you don't ever get to the point that you actually do want to like propose to me because i'm not gonna believe you say so all right so so she just got out the car and i didn't realize the camera literally shut off because i think it's out of storage or something but she just went in the house and she is tight right now so we got to go in and tell her it's a prank i don't know how she believes it though like you really think someone will go to that extent to prank somebody i, I don't know but let's go inside and tell her so hopefully she's not as mad and hopefully i'm not sleeping on the couch tonight man What? Mm -hmm. Why you say leave me alone? It was a prank. 
You got pranked. That's a prank, but I'm not taking this to the pawn shop. I didn't get it from a pawn shop either. I don't even know if you could do that, but I was filming the whole thing. I texted my homie. I told him to uh to act like a person at one of those stores, or whatever, like a pawn shop or something. It's not I know, but it's not like I, it wasn't whatever. You still, we still engaged. You really that upset? Yeah. You are not still upset. We're still engaged. That is. That made me sad. Yeah, but it was a real proposal. I just want to message you for a video, a little follow up to the engagement. You know, I got the band. You know what I'm saying? I got the band. Okay. Well, go ahead and comment Team Tracy because I'm gonna have to get him back now. What are you wiping your face for? Because you made me cry. All right, y'all. Well, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Um, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next one.